Hello, the aim of this short video is to show you how to install Cycon Web API. The first step is to create a domain user for the web API to use. In this demo, since there is no domain available, the user will be local and you may choose any username and password. You will need to retain the details for later. It is important that the password is set to never expire and the user you have created must be placed into the Sage 200 users active directory group. Next, make the new user a local administrator on the server that the web API will be running on. We now need to open the Sage 200 administrator console and create a new role. Ensure that the Remote Users Access Only option is selected and then add the user account you created earlier to the role. Give the new user access to all Sage companies and ensure you select the Web User option. Web API will not function without this option enabled. Now install the three Cycon add-ons. Typically, we install common components first. You can update companies here, or to save time, you can run update companies after installing the final add-on. Here we are installing the Cycon Common Reports. And finally, the Web API add-on. We will now run Update Companies. Add the Web API features to an administrator type role. We now need to recycle the Sage 200 service app pool. We can do this from the IIS Manager console. You can close the console once this is done. Now we need to log on to the server and run Sage 200 using the newly created user account. Since Sage 200C, it is usually easier to use remote desktop for this task. As this is the first time this account has been used, we will need to run the Sage 200 client installer just like any regular Sage user. The restricted role warning is normal. This is as far as Sage needs to go. It will automatically close. You can now log this user off from the server. We can now run the Cycon Web API installer package. You should generally leave all install options enabled. Set a default company, ensuring it is spelled exactly as it appears in the Sage Administrator console. We will leave the servicing password as admin for this demo. Enter the location of the Sage service folder on our server, this is the Sage holder on the C drive. Click Next and confirm the three steps we have taken during this video. Now enter the domain account details for the user you created earlier. and press install to proceed with the installation. Once you press finish the installer will close and the Cycon Web API homepage will then load. The username is always admin and for this demo you will recall we left the servicing password also as admin. So enter those details here. 
The home page will then be displayed. Any additional Cycon modules will appear as loaded modules on the left hand side of the page. This completes the installation of the Cycon Web API for Sage 200.